Welcome to the Cleanup One video tutorial, created to introduce the cleanup process within Tunes Harlequin. For this tutorial we will use the B sequence, that is the main character, we can see here in the flipbook, and the BSH sequence, that is the main character shadow. As you can see here in brackets, both sequences are made of 35 frames, and are defined only by black outlines. To load the scan drawings, in a new scene, you can, select them in the browser holding down the shift on your keyboard, right click and select load, and choose load or import, from the dialog that appears. If I move to the animation room, I will see the loaded sequences, inside my X sheet. Now, scanned linear images, have to pass through the cleanup process, in order to be auto-centered, to be set to the correct orientation and position, according to peg per holes, and to be prepared for the painting process. You have also to set the cleanup camera size and resolution, that is used to crop and resize drawings, during the cleanup process, in order to prepare and optimize them for the scene. To define cleanup settings, you have to choose scan and cleanup, cleanup settings. In the cleanup settings dialog, that opens. Activate the auto center option, to automatically center drawings, according to the peg per holes position, and reference field guide. Then, set the peg per holes position, in our case we have to set it on bottom, and the field guide format, that in our case is FLD 12.4mm Acme. In the bottom section of the cleanup settings dialog, you have a preview area. On the left side, you will see the original drawing, on the right side, there is a preview of the cleanup process. Activate the preview area, by pressing the small eye icon at the bottom left corner, and you can check in real time the effects of changing the cleanup parameters on your drawing. Now, I'm just scrolling inside, to change the zoom factor, and you can also move around the reference drawing, by holding down the middle mouse button. As you can see, the preview area is always visible at bottom of all pages, of cleanup settings dialog. Now, move to the next tab, and see how to set the processing parameters. In the processing page, of the cleanup settings, set the following parameters. Line processing, as grayscale. We have two types of anti-alias, that can be applied to our drawings, standard or morphological, or none. In this case we will set standard one. You have also the sharpness, that have to be applied to the final image, with a related scroller, and the despicling, that can be used to remove dirty pixels from the image. In this case, the brightness, and contrast, have to be set to 5 for the brightness, and to 55 for the contrast. Next to the preview toggle, there is another icon, the opacity check, and now I activate it. By activating the opacity check, fully solid pixels are displayed in black, and semi-transparent pixels, belonging to the line anti-aliasing, in red, as you can see here. This may helps you to decide the amount of anti-aliasing, you want the drawing lines to have, in order to be smoother or sharper. Now move to the camera tab, and see how to set the cleanup camera. At top left of this page, you will find all the editable camera parameters, that is to say width and height, horizontal and vertical resolution, horizontal and vertical DPI, and also the aspect ratio, on top and on left side, of these text fields, you will find different constraints, that will be used according to your needs. In our example, we want to set width on 10 inches,
and when I confirm my choice, you will see that due to the aspect ratio set here, the height will changes accordingly, and the resolution doesn't change, cause the constraint is activated. Now, I want to change the resolution, and the constraint will move up. Here I will set 1280, and the vertical resolution have to be set on 960. So now, look at the resulting level info, that will be updated according to the last settings made. And move down, and look at the use current level settings, that it is a button that can be used for taking reference from the currently selected level. On the sheet below, you will find the pull down list that can be used for selecting, adding or removing presets for camera resolution. And down, there are the field settings where you will find the closest field value that defines the smallest field size you will zoom into the drawing with the camera when compositing the scene the east west and north self offset that shifts the camera position in case you want to define for the drawings a center different from the original one now I want to show you how to control the line quality and anti-aliasing in the main viewer so I will move a little the cleanup setting out. To do this, you have to activate the opacity toggle that is already active here. In the X sheet, we have to hide the BSH column just to see the B level that is behind it. And after selecting the first frame on the first column, choose Scan and Cleanup. Preview Cleanup. and you will see the preview of the process in the work area. Another feature available in the scan and cleanup menu is the camera test. It can be used to check the cleanup process as concerning the cleanup and the camera parameters. It displays the drawing selected in the sheet directly in the viewer without line processing but with a position modified according to the cleanup parameters. A red box displays how the cleanup camera will crop the drawing, and a blue box displays the camera closest field. Now, the closest field box is not visible because the camera size is the same of closest field size. If I want to see it, I have to reduce the closest field to 9, and then I will be able to see both boxes. And, as you can see here, you can modify the cleanup camera box using the handles and related parameters inside the cleanup settings dialog will be automatically updated. After defining cleanup parameters, you can save and load your settings by using the related buttons that are located at bottom right of cleanup settings window. Now, we save the current settings after clicking on save button. A browser instance will opens, and as you can see, a .cln file having the same name of current level will be created within the same folder where the scanned images are stored by default. In this case, the scan drawings folder after saving, if you want to load the .cln file, you have to click on the Load Settings button. Now, I can close the Cleanup Settings window and proceed to cleaning up levels. The result of the cleanup process are TLV files, one file for each sequence of drawings, such as the BNBSH ones, and TPL files for the related palettes. During the cleanup process, TLV are automatically saved in the plus drawings folder, which was defined in the project settings. Now, to
To clean up the level using the defined settings, go into the X sheet, select all of the level frames, for both the X sheet columns, and choose, scan and clean up. Clean up. Here you can choose, to clean up one drawing at once, to skip some of them, or to clean up all. To save the scene, click on File, Save Scene As. Give Clenoptesk01 as name, and save the scene, clicking the save button. Thanks for your attention, and see you on the next video tutorial, where the cleanup procedure will be applied on a color linear sequence.